In this video, I will show you how to turn any video into a step-by-step -step game. I'll tell you exactly how to set up this workflow that I have created. I have given the link in the description. You can download the workflow and let's get started. Once you have downloaded, come to the run item instance, click on create new workflow, name the workflow, video to video, name it however you want, and then import the file. Okay, I'll just show you a quick demo and then I'll explain each steps. This might take a while, so I'll just skip it. The workflow ran successfully. I'll just show you the output. This is the video I have processed. which will explain how to set up Google credentials in n And this is the result. As you can see, it went pretty accurate. Okay. I'll explain step by step how this works. So Google Drive trigger now, which is going to trigger the workflow. When I upload a PDF file, it's going to get triggered automatically. And once it's, as you can see, uh, I have selected that particular folder in which I'm going to upload the video file. Once it's triggered, I need to, I need to download that particular video. So I use the dynamic ID. You can just drag it and put it in here. It's going to download that particular video. And once it's downloaded, I have uploaded Gemini for processing. Uh, I, I didn't directly upload it due to, because it's a video and it's a very large file and it might contain a very large B64 that API request can't handle. So as you can see, there are two ways to upload to Gemini. One, you can directly upload the video file by converting to B64 or else you can upload the file URI. Once you upload it to Gemini, which I have done it in here, it will give a file URI and you can use it in here to process. So why is this step? You can ask me that. So in this step, I have get that particular. So uh, even though I have uploaded to Gemini, I cannot instantly uh, prompt it prompt to A because uh, A needs to process that video, right? So in that, uh, so it needs time to process that particular video. So I, the status need to be active. So I just get that particular video and check if it's active. If it's not active, I'll just wait for five seconds and then I'll retry and then I'll retry. And once the status is active, I'll just upload to Gemini. In that case, uh, it won't uh, give any error. So the prompt is very simple. You can improve the prompt by, you know, copy paste and give it to chat GPT or something. But right now it's just the version zero. I'll improve this workflow along the way. And this code now, what it does is, it's going to get that text, get that particular markdown and convert it into a markdown file. So once it's converted to markdown file, I use Sterling video, which is going to convert to a PDF, convert that markdown into a particular PDF. And then once it's done, I have uploaded to Google Drive. In Sterling PDF, I have used this particular endpoint. We want convert markdown. Okay. And I think this explains. It, uh, there are only two credentials you need to set up. Okay. One is Google Drive and another one is Gemini. Gemini is going to be straightforward. You can just uh, go to credentials. You can just go to create credential. 
search for Gemini. You can just use this and copy the API key from aistudio.google.com. Get API key, create an API key, name, create a project, select a project. And once you select a project, you can just it will give the API key, just copy it and paste it in here. So that's how you set up Gemini. For Google Drive, I have added a video in the description down below. Just drop that video. It's going to be straight for And I think that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.